Hey everyone, we're Tollway Couple, Tom and Bunny. I'm the driver. And I'm the sandwich maker. So we've seen other videos and we decided to do our own. It was good to see the other videos from the other uh -huh. video vloggers out there and they showed what they put in their truck. Me and Bunny have been traveling for 20 years, so we've been doing motorhomes, we've been pulling fifth wheels and bumper pulls. So there are small requirements by each company, mm -hmm. such as bring extra fuses, a tow chain and stuff like that. But we have broken down enough times due to flat tires, due to electrical issues, due to anything. Yeah, brakes. Brakes? <laughs> so, so we actually go a little overboard, but trust me when we say that if you're on a rural area or late at night and you can't get someone out there for a couple of hours, it may affect you and you might be sitting there for a while but if you have stuff that we, you can limp it in somewhere it'll be a lot faster for you correct um it's nothing that has to do on here but we did have that particular instance we had we lost a wheel literally lost the wheel literally twice. lost the wheel <laughs> and we had our spare on our trailer and lo and behold the spare blew out on a Sunday in the middle of America during church. Yep, and I had to pull the wheel off and we found, thank God, that it was rural America so they opened up their shop for us and everything. But, and yes, it is Alabama so I'm going to be sweating again <laughs> like the fifth wheel hitch video. But realistically, we got lucky on that one. We could have been sitting there until Monday right. at the gas station. So now we just make sure that we have a little bit of everything in our toolbox. That way we know if anything comes apart, we can put it back together and we can limp it on into wherever we need to go. Right. So the first thing we did was we bought a toolbox. Yes. <laughs> it's just a small one, but pretty much most everything will fit in here. And we also have three other toolboxes in our truck where we can put stuff. Uh, we got the ones inside the cab, two of them there, and we got one that we're going to be mounting in the bed of the truck that swings out. Now, one of the things that I always like to tell everybody is Tom is always go big or go home. Yes. And we have every one of Don't these tools. Don't have to yell. They can hear you all the way over there. <laughs> Probably three or four <laughs> different sets of all these tools, but we decided it would be nicer on most 99% of our tools to start over fresh and clean. Right. So... So to start off, again, we bought a toolbox, and one of the requirements, oh, we, we don't, aren't we, we are not able to show you. We got triangles in our fifth wheel, but we're gonna buy a new set for this, uh, this venture, mm -hmm. and we picked those up on Monday, as well as a fire extinguisher is required to do this job because of DOT inspection. That we pick up on Monday, and it will be installed, and, there's a big wide mud flap that goes the whole width of the bumper of the truck and that's going to also be installed on Monday. So we'll definitely do a, a quick video on all of those that are, is required and that we are having installed. Uh, yes, and also because of the diesel discount, which we're going to do another video on, we're actually having a 60 gallon fuel tank added to the bed of the truck while we're there on Monday. So yes, that way we could save a lot more money and that the savings is profit. <laughs> so once it pays for itself. So let me just explain something. We have a jack. Mm -hmm. I have a two ton jack. Also, I got some blocks of wood in the bed of my truck so that way I can block up the tire and everything. So typically on a tandem axle, you could put blocks of wood and drive one up and it'll pull the other one off the ground you can take it off. And we have had to have use for that because the little jack that does come in our truck was not high enough to get anything well, it's high up enough, underneath it's there. just not the right one. Yeah. Because we have a lifted truck. So better safe than sorry. Right. So to, to remove the wheel, I'm bringing my impact gun. It has saved me numerous times on our other trailer. Trailer tires aren't the greatest. They are trailer tires because they're not designed to drive. 80 miles or 80,000 miles. They're just designed to go point A to point B and then you park it for a while. This has saved me too. It is a battery powered air compressor. It goes up to 90 PSI and that has saved me a couple times, especially when we have a slow leak and we have a plug and we plug it up and then that airs it up. Rubber gloves. When you're out on the side of the road, there's not a whole lot of bathrooms. 
So we are going to carry a case of water in the back to wash our hands, but rubber gloves will help out and everything. Well, and plus the fact that rubber gloves are great if you go to reach for a gas nozzle and it's all nice and yes, greasy. Yes, exactly. So I do have an assort, assortment of wrenches just because there might be a need for it. I also have a hammer because if you can't make it work, you can beat it to submission. <laughs> we all know that trick. Uh, we have pliers, channel locks, uh, needle nose pliers, cutters, vice grips, and I always say bring two um, adjustable wrenches because sometimes you need two of them, and they're small. You don't need something. If you need something big, you're in a lot big world of hurt. And I also have Allen wrenches. I also have some net drivers. And this toolkit has saved me because sometimes RV manufacturers put square head, not Phillips, not flathead, but square head or different torques or anything. This little kit was five bucks. I keep it in my. And we did, we learned that when we had to take apart our um, water pump. Yes. In our RV. In our RV, we had to take the front panel off of it and the front panel had square screws and I thought we were screwed yes. and our water pump was leaking. We are bringing a couple different tape measures. We got a 25 foot and a 12 foot um, tape, electrical tape, because if you snag an electrical and you gotta fix it on the fly, I have electrical tape and we have two painter's tapes. We are watching a video vlog and it was about a door kept opening and they recommended having painter's tape because if you use duct tape or masking tape, you can ruin the outside and you'd be responsible for it. So we have a couple rolls of painter's tape. Now for the license plates, they want you to have zip ties, but also zip ties are good for your chains. If your chains are dragging, I know some people roll them up, but you can kind of zip tie them up out of the way. Breakaway cables, sometimes those break. Zip ties make great uh, quick fixes till you can get it fixed properly. Yes. We have a locking trailer couple, coupler. We're gonna get a couple more and put them in the glove box because they recommend having a couple because if you have to cut it off because of the key um, and grime and everything, we're definitely gonna get that. But that's for your bumper pull trailers. Mm -hmm. Now, we do recommend every time you stop, before you put that key in the ignition, you check your whole trailer, do another pre-trip inspection every single time you stop. Every time you stop, you should do a post-trip inspection and then before you leave, do a pre-trip because you don't know why you're sleeping. Somebody pulls levers or does something just because they're idiots. Right, out there. and like we said, you know, you definitely want to do that that inspection. We stopped for lunch and we turn around and Tom's like, "Why do we only have five tires when we should have six? Right. So somewhere in the middle of um, Missouri, is some farmer found a nice wheel. Nice wheel. But Twice. thank God we checked. So I also have a seven way. Now my truck has the um, four way, but this also has the um, six way um, in it built in. We're gonna have a visitor and our neighbor's dog keeps coming over. So we tried blocking it off. But I brought an assortment of screwdrivers and a Sharpie because sometimes you don't know what you need a Sharpie for, but it's good to have in your toolbox and as well as the torque wrench. Now. Most all companies require a 150 pound torque wrench. We just bought this one at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks. And I did see a guy doing a pre-trip inspection and he literally torqued all the wheels before he pulled out. And I thought, what a genius idea because I pull my trailer, I know everything's set. I don't know from the manufacturer if they torqued them or not. So you should always torque your wheels. Well, and that is the reason why we did lose that one wheel is because we had just they over left it. the dealer and they had over torqued. Yep. They so. over torqued it and they broke the lugs and then it started fluttering. Uh, they, suggest, they, they asked that you bring fuses. So I brought small and big fuses because we don't know what we may encounter as well as we have electrical connectors. So if we have to do any electrical repairs on the way, and they want you to have some carabiner clips. So I have an assortment of carabiner clips. 
I don't know why we need carabiner yet, but just in case. And also I got some quick link um, for the chain, so if you have to lengthen the chain or kind of tighten it up. And it doesn't hurt to have some rope. And this is just a couple bucks, mm -hmm. throw it in the toolbox. And we have a couple different pairs of gloves. I got my mechanics gloves and I have my leather gloves, depending on what we're doing. Am I sweating like a You are. Holy cow. <laughs> Man, I should do this stuff in the winter time. Now they want you to have a battery. This battery here was 38 bucks and it mounts on the frame rail and it has an automatic um, charging. Everything is included and you could put this in the fifth wheel, you could put it on the frame rail. It's basically for the breakaway for the um, trailer brakes to activate. Now they say that they want you to have a battery for activating the slides for whatever reason, but if your truck is plugged in, your, the slides should be working. Uh -huh. And rainy season if you never got caught out in the rain it sucks <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it, it gets a little uh daunting when i'm trying to hold an umbrella over them so rain suits are the best thing we each have a, we each have rain suits we each have our fashion statement safety vests these are dot required though i believe anyway no they're not no? dot required but when you're on the side of the freeway you want to be as you want to be a beacon when those cars are coming up. Even though they don't slow down, you at least want to do your due diligence. Absolutely. So we both have bright yellow rain suits and we have the safety vests that way in case we are on the side of the road. And our rain suits have reflectors on them. Yes. So we will be a big cone. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I passed this up, I did get a Harbor Freight little socket set. Um, so just in case I, I need a socket or anything. And then we have ratcheting straps. Our company requires you to have ratcheting straps. I saw a video one time where one of the holding tanks fell down and the only way they were able to get that trailer to a repair facility is their ratchet straps. They ratchet strapped it up with four of them and they were able to get it to the facility. So these are definitely good to have. Absolutely. Knee pads. If you're changing tires or if you gotta crawl under the um, trailer, these are definitely good to have. We don't have it because we're going to buy a brand new one, but we are going to get just a thin moving blanket, really tiny, compact. So if I have to crawl under a trailer or anything for any reason, I can put that down so I don't get my clothes dirty. Well, you don't get your clothes dirty, but we also know that that asphalt can be 130, 140 degrees. Yeah, in the summer. So time. that way you don't get burned. Right. Now, and now Bunny's going to tell you about some yeah, of this stuff. So definitely over here, we did watch some videos where they said that the magic erasers are great in case there's any little scuffs or anything. Right, because you're responsible for all that. Yes, but we all know magic erasers work wonderful on everything. On everything. So we actually did buy a four pack and we'll... We only put one out here just for show. Only one, yes. Um, definitely some glass cleaner. Yeah, with your window tint, you don't want to use Windex because Windex will turn your window tint purple. So we actually use this spray glass cleaner and it works really well. Right, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. We picked up this one at uh, Home Depot for $1.50. Yep. You know, uh, the magic Erasers, erasers were a dollar. dollar. So we're really good on that. Of course you want your hand cleaner. Yep. So that's what the water is going to be in the truck so I can do my hands and money can hold the water over me. Right. Um, now, since we have learned in different different situations, sometimes you can come across gum or anything. You don't right. want it on stuff to stuff. We did buy a little bottle of the Goo Gone, and of course, Super Glue. Super Glue. Because Super Glue fixes everything. Yes. <laughs> um, and you said we both have knives. We both have. So we'll we each... both have knives, and we also both have our own our flashlights, own flashlights for the door. Yeah. And then I have a. A high-powered one for in the toolbox. Now, wonderful Tom, I, I'm thinking, oh, so for checking things as we go, he says, you never know if you get out, there's a snake on the ground. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that friendly reminder. And we have these magnetic lights, and they also have deals so you can put them on the ground. So these ones here, usually at Costco, I'll put a link on Amazon. Yeah, because we bought it on Amazon. Yeah, these were on Amazon. It was a three pack for like 24 bucks. Mm -hmm. And they are really bright. And we love them. 
and we're going to be taking two of them with us. Yeah, we ha we have them spread out through our RV. We keep them at our house just in case we, we lose, lose power. power. We've got those. They're easy. They're handy. Of course, you're definitely going to want razor blades for yes. anything too. Scrape off anything, but again, you don't want to damage the RV. Right. Now, since we are heading out during COVID, and of course we're having an upswing, everybody's requiring masks again. Yes. Um, our son turned us on to these. These ones are the reusable face masks. At Home Depot. At Home Depot. And they're amazing because they don't fog up your glasses. Right. They're more comfortable. They're more um, breathable than the... Breathable. Than the... Paper one. Paper ones. Okay, so that's literally what we have here. No. Oh, okay, yes. Our company, uh, Watson, and all the companies we've seen, all require you to have a portable printer that you can print from your cell phone and our laptop and it's tiny i bought the case the case was 20 bucks and the printer is a canon tr150 and i'll put a link to this printer i looked for all different types of printers there they run anywhere from two to four hundred dollars this one was a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars mm -hmm. and it prints phenomenally and it's really great because it prints right from your cell phone Yes. from either from your Android or from your iPhone. Yep, and so when you gotta print up all your paperwork when you get to the dealership, they say that a lot of dealerships will not let you print to their printers, so everyone's required to have their own portable printer. Uh -huh. So, all right, so next video, Bunny's gonna talk about her personal stuff that she's gonna be bringing, and we invite you to Watch the very end right now because we're going to put up all of our information on how to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, our website, and Facebook. Yes. All right. So, again, if you have any questions, comments, let us know, and we will try to accommodate you. Yeah, absolutely. Now, some of the stuff, like you said, might be overkill, but we'll find out when we come back in a month. Well, I'd rather be overkill than need it, and it would suck if we needed well, it. Well, your stuff isn't overkill. Mine might be. Right. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. See you down the road.